The fuel filter is attached to a length of fuel line in the fuel tank. The filter can move freely in the tank, so it stays submerged when the tool is tipped. The filter removes debris from the fuel, so they don't enter and clog the carburetor. Over time, the fuel filter will become clogged with debris, which will restrict the flow of fuel to the engine. This can result in an engine that is hard to start, starts and dies, or won't start at all. Replacing the fuel filter is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the old fuel filter from the fuel tank. I've bent a piece of wire into a hook, and I'll use that to pull the fuel line from the tank. With the fuel filter removed from the tank, I can go ahead and remove it from the fuel line. Now I can install the new fuel filter. I'll place the hose clamp just onto the end of the hose. Then I'll hold it in place as I slide the nipple on the new fuel filter inside the hose. And I'll feed the fuel filter back into the tank. And that's how simple it is to replace the fuel filter in your small engine. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.